Cheeto Waffles! Every time I do a Hot Cheeto video, I just can't control myself right now. So let's just get right into it! Put some Hot Cheetos inside the blender and then blend those bad boys up. Yes! Get them all nice and fine grind and ready. Then you want to add some flour, waffle mix, and some water, and some oil. Mix it all together. Then you're going to get all this like creamy texture just like the last waffle we made. And I'm going to add some more so I moved it to a bigger bowl and then added my Hot Cheetos directly in there. Yes! Mix it all together. And then you're going to get this like red bag batter that looks kind of strange then you're gonna get a cup and then some marmar juice you can pour the marmar juice inside of there and get a lime smash it on the table smash it into the marmar juice and then you want to get the zester and zest this bad boy up you want to look for that those little flakes right there that's zest and you want to put it in there look at that look at the zest mm, i love it lime butter it up just like your mama and then you want to go ahead and grab some of the hot cheeto waffle and it's going to be stubborn from the hot cheeto because the hot cheeto is like making it stick together and like way not as creamy as it should be but you know you get the job done eventually and then you want to stick some hot cheetos in there and just make it look beautiful you know i just don't know why i decided to put hot cheetos in there but you know i was like we got to put it in there and just cook it and just see what happens and ooh, look at the steam Ooh, yeah Roy, you wanna try this waffle? This is better, huh? I still have a blue waffle. Oh, 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 oh okay. Mm. That's a cool waffle. All right, guys, now it's time for the hot Cheeto taste test. First, let's just take a moment to appreciate the hot Cheeto. Look, there's a hot Cheeto in there, and the DNA of this thing is hot Cheeto, and this is, you know, my favorite thing to put with hot Cheeto is lime, so I made some lime syrup. Let's try this out. I'm gonna take my hot Cheeto, dip it into the lime-infused syrup marmar juice, and I'm gonna take a bite of the hot Cheeto waffle. Here we go. I wanna get a good bite with hot Cheeto in it, too. I really like it. It's so good. No, I'm not. It's interesting in a good way, though. Like, you're, you're expecting the fluffy cake, but also it's like, Spicy and then sweet. It's like all these secret punches hitting you in the face. Like, what the heck is happening in my mouth right now? Okay, yeah, I approve. I give this a eight and a half out of ten hot Cheetos. Mmm, I would have this for breakfast. I recommend this for breakfast for you. Oh my goodness. That's right. If you like spicier foods in the morning, this is perfect. This will wake you up. If you have a math test, this is gonna help you on your math test. You just like keep it in your pocket and just be like, yo, got this. I'm ready for math. Look at it though. Look at all the pieces of hot Cheeto in there. The hot Cheeto crumbs. I'm so happy that you guys tuned in. I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me today at 12 p.m. See you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. And if you guys get this video to 50 likes, I will make a different kind of waffle for a different kind of food and a different kind of time. But I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace. Beautiful Mormars and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make something I can eat. It's a it's a black waffle, but yeah, you can eat it. Look, let's go. You're gonna need about two cups of pancake mix. I wanted to keep it really simple for you. Then you wanna add some water to your pancake mix. You wanna go ahead and grab some vegetable oil and then get your mixy mix and mix it all together until it is nice and smooth and the big lumpsy lumps are gone. Now you wanna get some cuttlefishing. This is 